This is a short video I want to make uh, to present you with the plans that apparently KCBA had uh, furnished the township on our current uh, site in 2015 actually and maybe early 2016. You can see this uh, email sent to Tina Stevens from Eric Gianelli who's with KCBA dated May 19th five days after they had the May 14th meeting where they discussed these uh, plans that uh, I guess KCBA had to send them to her when I did my right to know request. You would have thought they would have had them on hand, but apparently they did not. So you can see that uh, we're not sure if they were aware of this brainstorming event we had in 2016. Well, this was sent on May 19th. Please feel free to share with the board. They weren't aware of this brainstorming event we had in 2016. So this was five days after the May 14th meeting where they interviewed the architects and they actually talked about these plans. So I, I don't know, uh, something's disconnected here. But we're going to go through about 25, 26 slides that show uh, five options on using the current facilities. One thing you'll note that I found a defect in is that they don't consider going up two or three stories instead of spreading out. So, you know, the building across the street is what, five, six stories uh, tall? The, uh, the uh, building where they had the gym, Valhalla Gym, which just recently sold for $5.1 million. So we're gonna go through these plans. I'll show you the slides one by one and I'll talk to you about them. I'll also make them available as a downloadable item at ExeterUnited.com. So let's start taking a look at this. The first slide shows us Exeter Township Municipal Campus as it appeared in 2016. It's still, it's still like that. You can see in the lower uh, right-hand corner, that's where the uh, district justice office is and the tax collector. And over on the left-hand side, uh, that whole open space there is where the dog training facility is. You can see it's quite a large space. And uh, that's how it is now. Then we're going to take a look at the set next slide and this slide shows uh, the existing property and setback lines. Nothing, nothing special here. And we'll take a look at the first existing site circulation. Here they're just showing us how the traffic flows. We can see the municipal building where it is now and the parking spaces in front, which are uh, never fully occupied. Sometimes on a, a township meeting, supervisors meeting it is, but otherwise uh, there's plenty of parking there. And also uh, across from the municipal building there, you can see that little indentation. If people have gone there, you know there's parking uh, all along there. So there's quite, quite enough parking in this area. So this is still the existing site. And we'll take a look at this one. This is option number one, okay? So here in option number one, uh, you can see the biggest change here is right over here where the, the, the dog training area is. They're proposing a fire station, just a fire station in this option. It's a five bay fire station and then a fairly good size administration area. This is where they'll renovate administration and police and then have the highway and, and everything else there. And here's where I was talking about where you can park along that whole area right there. So this is option number one. This is slide one of three. Proposed fire station and renovated administration and police building. And as you can see, there's no attempt to suggest uh, perhaps maybe a second story. 
but I think that's a very good option that we could have. So then the next slide, slide two or three on this, you can see up in the left hand corner they've uh, have the fire station. Uh, they've kind of made translucent the roof to look into the buildings that they're existing, but there's really not much change from the first first slide. The third slide for option number one shows us the traffic traffic uh, paths. Uh, as far as I know, I could not get any uh, written report that would describe this to the supervisors. So I, 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 I find that difficult to believe. I can't say for sure if they're withholding it from me or they can't find it. But to have drawings like this without any documentation explaining what they're doing uh, is surprising to me. And, somewhat amateurish and I don't know how much we pay for this but I'll certainly put in a right to know request unless somebody beats me to it. So this was option one. Option two, proposed fire station, streets department buildings, and renovated administration and police building. You can see in this slide that still the fire station is over across the street all by itself, five bays. We have the proposed salt shed. Uh, you can see where uh, the fuel pump is proposed fuel pump, police parking, more shared public parking, uh, pro proposed vehicle bays. And I, I think that the building in the front where the administration building now is going to be a combined uh, police administration building. We'll see that on the second slide. This is option two. There you go. Fire station again across the street. And yes, the uh, front of that building is going to be the proposed renovation police station. Now again, there's no reason why we can't go two or three stories up. We'll have plenty of room. We don't have to buy any new property. We can minimize our, our expenses, construction expenses. And this is the second slide for option two. The third slide will show us again the uh, proposed flow of traffic. Not too concerned with that at this time. That's option two three of three slides. Then we'll take a look at option three. Now here's an interesting change. I think uh, they're moving the administration building over here. And I don't know, that, that could, that's one story, but there's no reason why it couldn't be two and maybe smaller. Uh, this will turn into just the police station they are proposing a streets and highway building back there. And then of course the fire station again. So this, this gets us everything we need in a compact space. And we can also build up. I want to keep reminding you of that because I think that's an important uh, possibility. This is slide one of three. The second slide shows us again the proposed administration building. All they do is add the uh, the words for proposed renovation police station there. And the administration building uh, looks looks good from my perspective. And then the third slide of, of option three again showing us the uh, traffic flow. We go on to option four. And option four is also a possibility. We can see with option four, we're going to move the proposed police station and the fire station next to each other. Now that's certainly 
something that could be done there. It looks like the property's big enough, but I would like to have conversation on if that would be too busy over there. I don't know. And then you would have your administration and highway over here. This is slide one of three. Slide two of three for option number four. Showing us the same thing, just with some transparency through the roof, uh, not, but not much detail in there. Let's go on to option five. Option five, instead of having the police station next to the fire station, uh, they're proposing the administration building. And then the police station would be where the administration and police are today. So this is option five, one of three. This is the second one, second uh, slide. You can see right here is the proposed administration building, the proposed renovated police station, which I think uh, makes, makes some sense. You've, you've got the highway stuff back here You've got the filling station, the gas, right next to the police station. Uh, this is slide two of three of option five. This slide is out of order. It's showing the police station over here, which was in uh, a, a previous option. Yeah, this is option five. They put slide option four in here again for some reason. But I suppose uh, the next slide will give us the third slide for option five. There it is. And it's simply uh, showing us the traffic flow in this particular option. Then we have an option six. And option six, I think, is an interesting uh, option. What it does is it moves the streets and highways over here which I'm not sure I'm not too hot on that because this is already an administration building. But we've seen the uh, previous options, the administration building right here, and then they move the police station next to the fire station. So uh, this is one of two slides. And here's the second slide uh, showing this information. Now, uh, this this is the the traffic that they've shown in each option. Now, I also want to I want to point out here that this little triangle up here doesn't seem to be uh, used for very much, and I don't know why that is. Uh, I'm not uh, briefed enough on speaking about that intelligently. But if we need more land because of that, we can move this green, shorten this, this hole, whichever hole it is, and take a slice of this part off the golf course if we need to build more. But I'm not sure we need to build more. I think we need to build up, okay? And we certainly do not need the promenade. So this is the traffic flow for option six. And this is the pro, uh, the pro, uh, Exeter Township Fire. Again, this is just showing the fire company. And uh, I'm not, I don't have anything on this, so I'm not sure what they're trying to show here. But what I do want to point out is December 15th, 2015. So uh, that's when this was done and uh, they're claiming 2016. But at this time, Mr. Spies wasn't on the board and I'm not sure even Casadas was on the board at that time. Uh, now here we have some detail on a December 15, 2015 Township Fire Temp Department and how this thing would look. 
you can see right here we have five bays. We have a hose, uh, decontamination wash, uh, I don't know what that's called, engines, STR, scuba, gear, kitchen, storage, uh, EMS uh, rack, EMS supply, training classrooms, a 400 square foot men's toilet, the men's bunk. Now, this doesn't have to be the Hilton, okay? These guys are there to uh, take care of fires, uh, not live in luxury, but it looks fairly good to me. Uh, I live in a uh, 100 square foot space, study library, woman's toilet, woman's bunk room. We have a lobby, the vestibule, office, conference room, chief's office, EMS office, communication center. So this will give us some detail. If it's uh, not large enough, imagine a second story. There's no reason why we cannot build up instead of building out. Here's a look of that plan from the street perspective. Again, December 15th, 2015. Another look at this from a different angle. Over here would be the entrance to the fire department. And again, December 15th, 2015, looking at this from a different angle. And a nighttime view. And this is the last slide quite a few slides as you can see. Uh, it begs the question why we went out and bought the promenade. We've never discussed this plan. It's, uh, it makes me wonder, uh, in my opinion, if some people in the area were part of the Limited Liability Corporation formed in New York that bought the promenade. Uh, to replace our current property so that they can scarf it up later on. So they want us to move up there. And they already bought the Valhalla building for 5.1 million. I don't know if uh, that same group has their eyes on this particular property. I wouldn't be surprised. But for whatever reason, we've already paid for these properties. We own them. There's no mortgage on them as far as I'm aware of. Uh, we can build. And I think we should look at renovating the promenade, getting commercial businesses in there, and sell it to a uh, commercial uh, operation, a commercial mall operator to, to handle that. And we, we could do this without, without uh, and put it back on the tax rolls. So I think our supervisors are not doing their due diligence I think they're out playing too much golf or pursuing their other special interests with other special interests pushing behind them to do these things. We need to have a real public discussion about this. Now they want KCBA to revisit the site and uh, do a new evaluation, like a bottoms up evaluation. Now I think KCBA has already had their chance to do this. I think they did a, a poor job because there's no documentation that discusses any of these proposals or as they call them options. But you can see at the bottom there it says proposed building elevation concept. So there's nothing to, to read or discuss about this, but we should have another architect take a new look at this with maybe upgraded information. Now they talk about giving KCBA uh, a professional services contract to do a bottoms up study. And for those of you who might wonder what, what is a bottoms up study? Well, a bottom, bottoms up study uh, will have KCBA or people that they'll hire or that work for them go into the different departments, interview everyone down to the lowest level uh, and then on up except for management, 
uh, to find out what they think their needs are. Show Kirch is right. We need to do a needs study before we do anything else because right now what we have is we have a wants study. If you look at the RFP for the promenade, they want a food court with three or four vendors. They want an indoor walking trail. They want an Olympic sized swimming pool. Uh, and they want luxury like you would not believe, okay? Now we're not the federal government. We don't have a bottomless wallet. So we have to be conservative, very conservative. So we need to look at what are our needs, not our wants. And these guys got big eyes, you know, and they've got our money and they don't care how they spend it. They have the responsibility, they have the power to do all this, but no accountability. Think about this and I urge you to get involved in this issue before it gets out of hand. And believe me, if you let them do what they want to do, you better dig deeper in your pockets because everything is going to go up. They're building their own little city for our, our employees and our politicians. So don't let this happen. Thank you.